Well, welcome back to Crab Central Station. My name is Darcy, and this is our breeding vlog for our very first set of Zoe. Um, this season, we have purple pinchers, and this um, this is day seven. Did I already say that? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> um, we just finished our morning feeding and water change. Um, so the water was very dirty. It's a shed day. Um, we think maybe also pooping has started, so it was a lot of debris in the jar, which makes it really difficult to find the Zoe. Also, we really wished for Artemia. We were looking forward to them, but they are the bane of our existence now because they're growing, and so they now are almost the same, some of them are almost the same size as the Zoe, and they move, and they come to the light, and you don't want to catch them and put them back in there. You only want to catch the Zoe, and so now that's added like, a whole nother level of yeah. difficulty. Cause you used to see a Zoe moving and then you're like, oh, there it is. But now it's like everywhere you look, there's movement. So you can't use it to help you. Yes. And um, yes. Also, I, I know we've said this before, but now, you know, the water, like on shed days, the water's just so much dirtier. Um, and so the Zoe gets stuck like in that debris at the bottom of the jar because there's no aeration in the, the wastewater jars while we're trying to search for them. And so a lot of times the debris just starts to like collect from the movement of us just pipetting and stuff. And so we get stuck in that debris. And so then you kind of have to like puff air at all that debris to kind of like break it up. Of course then it's like this cloud of debris up in the jar and you're trying to just find those little Zoe in the debris. So shed days are not my favorite. How long did the change take today? I don't even know. Long time. What time is it? I don't know. You can see your phone right there? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is 9.43, so. An hour and 45 minutes? Yeah. That's with two of us, each doing our own Chrysal. So that would be a long time for one person. Long time. Anyway, so. Um, it's worth it though. We wanted, we did a 50% water change. So that's something too. Like we don't always do a 50% water change. Sometimes we just do a 25%. We did 50% because we could tell that the Chrysler was really dirty. We also cleaned the front and the back. If you remember, we have been switching off, like putting the flashlight towards the back of the Chrysler and drawing all the Zoe back there and cleaning the front. And then the next water change doing the opposite. Um, but today because it's day seven and we're paranoid and a little bit worried and we know it's a shed day, we wanted to clean the whole Chrysler. And so uh, we still did the light, like we brought them to the front first, I think, and we cleaned the back. And then we tried to bring them to the back, it didn't work as well, um, for whatever reason, I don't know. Anyway, and we tried to clean the front. So because we did the whole thing, it also... Um, we caught more Zoe. Yeah, so that's took More debris. Too. Yep. So that's how my morning is going. <laughs> is that all, everything? Yeah, that's everything. All right, we finished up day seven. Um, it wasn't disastrous, so that's really positive. There actually weren't as many dead ones as we were thinking there might be. Yeah. Hardly any. Hardly any, actually, so yay. Um, I didn't think about counting the Zoe in my wastewater jar like right at the beginning and you catch the most right at the beginning because you shine the light in there and they start like jumping all around and swimming to the light and so you just like suck up as many as you can as fast as you can and so generally you can suck up like 10, 12 at a time um, and so um, I didn't think about counting that but after that initial like mass collection then you go through the whole jar over and over and over. And just during that, in my jar alone, I had 307 Zoe. So I'm guessing my jar had probably close to 400. Um, that's just in the wastewater. I didn't count my jar. <laughs> and I didn't think to tell Burke that I was counting, but anyway, so I I cleaned out Chrysal 2, which is the um, sand, the egg on the sand Chrysal, which has fewer in it. Um, but I'm guessing we have close to probably a thousand, maybe a little bit more in that Chrysler and at least that much or more in the other one. So 
more than we thought actually so that's really exciting too um behavior wise they were kind of back to themselves tonight so our thoughts are that um either the heat in the water made them lethargic or it was shed like they were preparing to shed or shedding or almost shedding and so like shed day maybe makes them more lethargic conserving energy for that or something i don't know um, or because it was shed day and the water gets dirty faster that maybe the water quality um made them a little bit less active i don't know anyway it's probably one of those three things or maybe all three things i don't know but anyways tonight was looking a lot better so we did 50 percent water changes in the morning and this evening um yeah it doesn't look like an overabundance of food other than live artemia that have just grown to be too big for them to eat and so we tried to catch a bunch of that tonight as well so other than that um our thermometer that goes in the holding tank fell in and broke so now we have to go get one of those bummer what else What else is going on? Um, we haven't seen any evidence of cannibalism or, oh, they're suspending in the water more. That's right. Yeah. Like, just suspending tail up, which is kind of hard to watch. Um, I don't know. They look healthy. I don't know what else. Yeah, they look healthy. They're getting a little bit bigger. I bought this humongous jug for wastewater. It's great. <laughs> so we don't have to leave the room and dump out our jars like so many times. So that was, you know, everything to cut down on time. That's what we're trying to figure out is cutting down on time. So this water change took a little longer, about probably the same hour, 45 minutes as this morning. Yeah. Shed days, I think, are just, they're going to take longer. For one, we're siphoning out more water. It's like a bigger water change altogether. But also we're cleaning the front and the back of the Chrysler. And you're just going to pick up more Zoe when you do that. And so it takes one longer to pipe, pet them out. Also, the water is just really dirty on shed days. And so it just, it just takes a lot longer to like find the Zoe. Yeah. And mess. we can't tell if they've started pooping. We assume they have because they're supposed to have, but we don't know what to look for. What does Zoe hermit crab poop look like? All of them. The water <laughs> doesn't look much different than before. Just maybe dirtier. So. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, so that is day seven. It ended up being way better than I thought. I could hardly sleep last night. I was so worried. So we made it through day seven. I bet tomorrow morning we'll have a few more sheds, especially from Chrysler 2, because they're a little bit behind. So um, I think, and then I think we'll be through the second shed, which, would, which puts them at um, stage three. Okay, I'm picking up to vlog in the middle of our water change. So we were looking at the Chrysler today and a lot of the babies were just lying on the floor. So we just decided to siphon them all up so that, you know, if they were, they were dead, we would be able to remove them but we haven't been able to examine them yet, so it's just kind of worrying. We don't know what's happening or if they're okay. Um, this is day eight, so, you know, the day after seven, which is the day seven, which is what we were so worried about, so we're slightly concerned. We're doing a pretty big water change today. Um, I've got a lot of Zoe in my bucket. How about you? A lot. A lot. So this is about to take a very long time. All right, it's 11.30. We started at 8.30. We're on our last jar of water. Okay. We have this jug full, that jug full. This had that water in it. We have this, and then we have all the water that we put back in when sucking the babies. This, this morning, it's been a nightmare. This is the worst case scenario. This, this kind of water change makes you want to hack it all up and be like, there's no way we can sustain this for how many more days? 10. 
how long how long have we been doing this? Four four? No. Eight, we started three eight hours. Two of us. Three and a half hours. Non stop. So this is what happened. We started our water change. We noticed a lot of babies on the bottom of the chrysal that didn't look like they were moving. Like they they do sit on the bottom sometimes like to eat and stuff, but they kind of like bob around. Like they're moving, most of them. But this morning they weren't a lot of them moving. So we freaked out because day seven and all. We'll stay eight. I mean, it's day eight, but like overnight. So. Yeah. The result of day seven. Anyway, we started to freak out and we we're like, oh my gosh, okay, we have to suck up all these babies that are on the floor because if they are dead, then they're gonna make the water quality bad and that's gonna kill the rest of them. So we did, we sucked up all the babies off the floor, which was so many. How many did you have in your jar? I pipetted. And this time we counted and we made sure every single one of them was alive because we didn't want to put them in. We had like so few dead ones. There were I... like maybe 10 dead ones. I'm not even kidding. I we didn't... sucked them all up off the floor for 10 dead ones because we thought they were so, all dead. I was keeping track of the hundreds by sticky notes so I wouldn't get confused. So every time I got to 100, I would pull off a sticky note and like set it aside. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, and then 27. 627. Just, just Chrysal 2. And I got 446. She sucked more up off the floor. We know Chrysal 1 has more babies. We know for sure. Like, but I just didn't suck up as many on purpose. She was like sucking all of them up. Yeah. Now, here's the great news. There are babies suspending in in the water a lot of them like they weren't all on the floor so i think it's very safe to say that my crystal has like a thousand to twelve hundred for sure alive a thousand to twelve hundred i think it's very safe to say because i was not catching ones in the i mean some of them probably came in that were suspending but I was mostly spending time on the bottom of the chrysal, cleaning it really well and getting up all the ones that were on the bottom. And so any of them that were suspended are probably still, um, you know, we're still in there. So yeah, chrysal two, I think confidently I could say somewhere we don't to think we have We don't think we have many less numbers than yesterday. We just right. panicked today thinking we lost them all. And yeah. we're, we still think we have two to 3,000, 200. Uh, 2,500 to 3,000. Yeah. Maybe 2,000 on the I low think end. Of all the ones I d got up off the bottom, I think maybe like 10 to 20 were actually dead. And some of those I think were mid shed. To be honest with you, we put them in the pipette and, and you could see like the fuzziness of the shed around it, but they were still moving. So well, we put those ones back in. We the put those ones back in, yeah. So I think I had like five dead ones for real. So our theory about them getting kind of like lethargic on a shed day, I think might like that there might be something to that. You know, like when they molt as adults, there is a portion of the molt cycle where they go into um, like a paralysis where they can't move and maybe it's the same for the Zoe. I mean, it's not going to be very long, obviously, because they're so tiny, but maybe that's, they seem lethargic, but they're just shedding. I don't know, but don't we literally sucked them, or took them all off the bottom. Yeah. For pretty much no reason, It's for, I guess now we have a pretty good count. I mean, yeah. and the water is very clean, which is because good. This is like crystal clear. Yeah. Probably too clean. Which is good because day 11 is coming up, Let which is show them this. the scariest Crystal. day. Look at this. It's so clean. Looks like we just set it up. Yeah. Look, you can see I'm swimming in there a little bit. Guys, it's crystal clean. Look at the bottom of that. It's like so clean. We're going to have to add a lot of nano to make up for everything I took out. But anyway, so our theory, like, that the dead ones are white. Here's one. For real? Yeah. Okay. It was a I was gonna say, this is like discarded water. We, we put all the water in these jugs 
And then, like, as we were looking through them, we discarded the, the jar of water into the jugs. But since we sucked up so then we're, many, I'm doing, like, a third check. Yeah. Just to make sure. So, this is the last jar of the third check. So, you know how we were saying that these are so easy? They take 20 minutes. Okay, here's the thing. That's, like, one, day one, day two, <laughs> yeah. day three. But they're not eating very much, and they're not pooping, and they're not shedding. Yeah. Then you get to day eight when they're more developed. And then it takes like three and a half hours. So this is why no one has done this. Well, I mean, I don't know how Mary produces this by herself. Like, I, have I no honestly idea. do not. She is a saint. Superwoman. Superpower, yeah. I... Well, and there's so many other people too. Like we say Mary a lot yes, because she's are. localized in America. Uh, there are people all over the world doing this, and also people in America. We know people in America that have done it. But yeah. we just, Mary is our mentor. Um, she's the one we work with the most, and she's been the most successful. So yeah. there are other people, We there's other people to give credit to that do yeah. this by themselves. But I think tomorrow we're going to try something different. I think we're going to try and do three water changes, uh, morning, middle of the day, and then at night. Um, and then we could do 25% because then you get fewer Zoe that you suck up. Um, and it's cleaning more often, so maybe there's less, going to be less buildup. So that's what we're going to try on day nine and see what happens. But yeah, ultimately, um, like we haven't even cleaned up this mess yet. We actually just stopped pipe petting so we could feed them. <laughs> their morning breakfast before it was lunchtime breakfast or lunchtime for them which is like soon and we're still not even cleaned up so yeah we fed them their well so they eat the instant baby brunch up at seven yeah they got that 7 30 and then the water change is supposed to start at eight we accidentally got distracted um answering <laughs> comments and questions yeah. on our youtube and instagram so we didn't start until 8 30 and then um so eat the instant baby ranch about 7 30 and then the water change at 8 and then once you're done with that you're supposed to feed other things so they got some food they're not starving um and then around 10 we fed we stopped in the middle to feed yeah um so yeah good news was salinity was good in both chrysals and the holding tank this morning temperatures were both good so i think we finally figured out the whole light situation so we're not moving the lights so that's good and hopefully one thing about doing the water change this long you're using the pipette so much your hand cramps up <laughs> oh my gosh you'd never think and my shoulders because we're doing this for three and a half hours and your eyes are strained because you're yeah, looking at you're you're holding the flash this hand cramps up because you're holding a flashlight here and here and here like you, their eyes glow and their bodies are iridescent so you know, if you can get the light just right on them, it helps you to see them. So you're always holding the flashlight in one hand, pipette in the other, up here, you know, your arms up on the jar, your head's down here, looking in the jar, and like three and a half hours later, your shoulders hurt, your head hurts, your eyes hurt, your hands hurt. Your soul hurts oh, a little bit. Your <laughs> soul it makes you want to cry. Also, I dislike live or TV. Yeah, the live art team, you start to get the same size as the Zoe, and then you're like, there it is. Oh. Um, anyway, okay. so this, not as, as much of an annoyance as it is, it's all worth it um, because we're advancing science, yeah. and, you know, if they get it to land, it'll be probably the biggest accomplishment of our lives. Just, <sighs> I mean, Guys. it's going to be awesome. And the good news is that we're living. So. <laughs> well, that's true. We're in a little bit higher spirits now because we yes. thought they were all on the floor dead. Yes. Oh boy, that and was we scary. Have a pretty good, actually, like a pretty good idea of how many we have, which is kind of yeah. nice too. So it was in the long run worth it. But we're sharing the journey with you guys, so it's like you can see our firsthand pain. <laughs> it's, it's the that's how it goes. Yeah. So, all right, we'll see y'all later. All right, we made it to the end of 
day eight. And started out rough, but I think ended on a fine note. We have some very clean chrysals and I think some heavy Zoe. So water change tonight was more normal. It took us about an hour, pretty normal. And uh, we didn't find a whole bunch laying on the ground at the chrysal and we didn't freak out. So <laughs> that's good. So I do think it has something to do with shed day. I'm just gonna throw that out there. That's just me. But we documented that with the Ecuadorians last summer that we thought maybe shed day like um, made them a little bit lethargic. And we're, we've now kind of seen that with the purple pinchers. So we'll keep watching for it. But I think we finished up shed day number two. Um, I had several sheds left in Chrysal 2 because remember they're a little bit behind. Um, but Faith did Chrysal 1 tonight and um, she didn't see very many sheds in hers at all. So that is also following our theory about the sand. The Zoe hatched um, from the sand are a little bit behind. Anyway you guys, I think that's all we have for you tonight. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click the bell so you can be notified when we drop new content. Follow us on our social medias. Um, you don't want to miss any of that kind of stuff going on. And um, like this vlog, comment down below. Um, we will do our best to get back to you guys on all of your comments, but we do thank you for your encouragement and your support. Um, it's been a lot of fun to read all of your comments. And, and those of you offering advice, thank you so much for sharing as well. That's what I love about our community here at Crab Central Station and our crab crew is awesome. All right, you guys, see you in the next vlog. Bye.